What's up, fam? It's Avnisha, and I have a very special guest right now in the stew, in the studio, and uh, she's an incredible artist. You would have heard of her. It is none other than Mallrat. Thank you for Grace. having me. Thank you for coming. Congratulations, by the way. How exciting! It's your debut album. Am I right? Yes. Butterfly Blue. Yes. How like how do you feel? I feel so proud and happy that it's finally here, because I've spent like four years chipping away at it four and years. it's so much care and like big chunks of my heart went into it and I'm really proud of the songs I think they're really excellent so yeah I'm just like excited to show everyone what I've been working on and butterfly blue what because I know that's a song mm -hmm. on the album yeah the last track what does it mean well, it's like, it's not really that deep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what if I blew? What is it? <laughs> yeah. I think people like to be like, oh, this is a comment on like a metamorphosis. <laughs> but I didn't even think of that. But yeah, yeah. But it's just, I really love insects and butterflies. And so I'm always thinking about stuff in regards to nature. Or I, I often just find myself relating things to it. So maybe it's maybe you can draw a metaphor from it but it's not intentional or anything it's just the name of track 11 um which is like this nonsensical sad <laughs> lullaby oh, yeah i love that and um did it take time to figure out how you wanted to place the tracks on on the album was that like a long process or yeah. how did that go it didn't make any sense for a long time until i wrote the title track butterfly blue right. and also when i finished track one when I had those bookends, the album finally clicked and I understood how close I was to the f finish line. Yeah. But until then, I was kind of like feeling around in the dark, not really sure what I was doing or how long I would have to keep working on it for. I love that. I love that aha moment. And you're like, it all comes together mm. so perfectly. Now, I heard your song, Surprise Me, yes. with Azealia Banks. That is a bop. Thank I've been you. listening to that on the train nonstop. How did that happen? Like, how did that come to fruition? And like you collabing with Azealia as well? Yeah, well, I've been a fan of her for a really long time since I was about like 12 and 212 came out. And then, such a good song. yeah, so incredible. And then I brought, I bought Broke With Expensive Taste as the first album I ever bought with my own money, obsessed over it and like have been a long term fan of her. And then a year or two ago, she did a live stream where she was just playing some music and going about her day. And she played my song, Charlie, and was talking about me and being like, this is this girl, Mall Rat from Australia. I really like her music. Yeah. And then she turns it all the way up. She's like, actually, I really love her music. And it was so cool um, when someone sent that to me. You were just like, <gasps> I was, I was so, <laughs> so amazed like yeah. it blew my mind a little bit so when i had this demo for surprise me i knew that it needed the energy of another person because i couldn't figure out how to finish it on my own yeah and so yeah eventually That's i was cute. in the studio finishing up the production and i was like i feel like i need to dm her and nice. <laughs> see yeah. what she says if she sees it and it was a go which is which is sick and the song is such a vibe now i have to ask you because i love mm. your song charlie thank it you it is such a good song and was that asked to be put on The Sims? That's oh yeah, I heard. So like, how does that work? Like, does it get like translated into Simlish? Or? Yeah. So um, Sims translate it for you, and they send you a big page of all your lyrics, line by line, translated into Simlish. And That's so crazy. Charlie is Sabi, and there's like all these bits that I still remember. It's like That's trying to remember right. what else yeah. they say, but it's good. Oh. Um, Luvu Gamisha is love you forever. No. <laughs> what is it? Luvu, Luvu Gamisha? Gamisha. I'm going to say that to my husband later Luvu today. Luvu Gamisha. <laughs> like, what are you on about? That's I think that's beautiful. Cool. <laughs> I love that. No, that is so cool. Now, I was talking on my show how I'm like the worst driver ever. Like, literally the worst driver ever. And I heard in the grapevine that you have your license, but you don't drive. Is that yes. true? Yes, that's true. See, I want to do that. That's like the dream for me. Well, <laughs> It's a funny one because I got my license when I was about 18 in Brisbane, just before I moved to Melbourne. And I, I moved to Melbourne knowing that I was going to move overseas soon. So I was like, there's no point getting a car, but I just want to get my license so that when I'm settled wherever I am, it's an easy process. Yeah. And then I just never ended up settling anywhere <laughs> or, or like touring so much that it didn't make sense to have a car. Yeah. And then now I would say that I can't drive because that was years ago when I got my license right. and uh, didn't have to do the 100 hours because 
it was like a single parent situation. Dad wrote a letter to the Queensland government being like, does Grace have to do her 100 hours? I can't supervise all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, no, it's fine. Just do the test. And Just so do the test, yeah. I, yeah, I don't feel qualified. <laughs> yeah, oh, so honestly, I don't really judge. I'm on the roads and I, I shouldn't say this. I don't feel qualified. <laughs> but anyway, we're not going to get into that because I, yeah, terrible driver. Now, I know you have tattoos. Which I do. They're beautiful. Thank you. I have Danny who's here. And uh, are you down to get another tattoo? Okay, yeah. Oh, she's so cool. <laughs> she's so cool. All right, all right, let's do it. So we're going to play Tattoo Roulette with Mall Rat. So we've got here, Danny's here as well. Hi. Hi. And we have a wheel. And basically all of these tattoos are based on Mall Rat's music, which is very exciting. So you're going to get a tattoo. I'm going to get my first tattoo, which is exciting. So let's we'll see what matching. we get. Yeah, hopefully you get yeah matching with your vibe. All right, we'll get we'll get you to go first. <laughs> oh, it's Butterfly. the butterfly! Yay! I was butterfly so. blue. Now I've chosen a lovely little abstract one. For oh my you. god, this is so exciting! <laughs> I actually would know where I want it already. <gasps> oh, where, no. do you, where do you want to get the tattoo? Where Could I get it just above my knee? Perfect. Thank do you. you. Like this one? Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, do you need me to closer. move? No, no, just there's perfect. This is fun. So you have you already have a butterfly tattoo, right? Yeah, I have one on my hand and I have one on my arm. And I have some other little weird guys that are kind of like butterflies, but I'm oh, not quite. Oh, it's like a little bug. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. A couple so are of the them. butterflies based on like butterfly blue or was that just? No, these were before that. I just really okay. like butterflies. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that. I yeah. love that. I've always wanted a tattoo. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is silly. Let me know if this is silly. But I always said that one day I'm going to get a tattoo that says, impossible but with a apostrophe apostrophe so it says i am possible that's very cute is it because I, I don't know i've told some people and they're kind of like mm, yeah and I'm like, <laughs> okay maybe it's not the vibe if you put it on your wall and you don't want to take it down from your wall next year then it's cute that's smart that's really <gasps> okay. yay oh cool. that's a vibe thank you for that i like that so i don't fun. know where i want to get mine now let me think yeah yes all right let's do it <laughs> Okay, here we go. Tattoo roulette. I want the. <laughs> <laughs> that is so appropriate. Okay. Get it here. Oh, on oh my. How big is uh, it? Oops. Is it too big? Should I get it on my forehead? Is that too much? All right, let's do my forehead. But Done. Like, let's do it on the side a bit so it looks kind of. Um... Oh, the team are gonna love this. <laughs> I'm a walking cater billboard. Mm, <laughs> this is great. This that'll is be great. nice. This is my first tattoo <laughs> on my forehead. It's tasteful. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So do you produce? Because I've heard you produce, right? I do, yeah. Did you produce anything on the album yes. as well? I co-produced. Like, I worked with some of my really good friends and really talented producers, but I also did um, a bunch of it. A wow. lot of it was really collaborative. So, yeah. Did you teach yourself? Uh, a mix of myself and my producer friends helping me. Yeah, I can't take myself seriously. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I don't it. usually do the top of the head. It's okay. It's the first time for everything. Oh, it's kind of refreshing though. Like mm. the, it's like a mist, the airbrush feeling. That's nice. I just realized I'm going somewhere again this <laughs> afternoon. That's fine. Does this come off? Oh, it's going to last forever. Oh, great. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So I've been actually trying to teach myself to produce. Yes. And yeah. um, it's the most difficult thing ever. Have you been using Ableton or something different? Logic, Logic. Logic. to move that's your good. eyebrows. Oh, sorry. Oh, I reckon yeah. that's a good place to start because it's really tricky at the beginning, but it's a lot clearer than Ableton if yeah. you don't have someone to guide you through Ableton it. seems really confusing. It is for a few months. <laughs> yeah, and then eventually, I mean, to be fair, their logic. That looks really good. Does it look good? Yeah. It's a vibe? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I can't leave this studio after this. <laughs> I'm not going go anywhere. Oh, well, it's been a vibe. Thank you so much. Thank I wanted you. to get matching tattoos, but it's okay. That's fine. I've got Kate out, but thank you for joining. Are you on tour at the moment as well? Yeah, so we're doing a bunch of stuff with Conan Gray um, in Europe, which is exciting. Yeah. Wow. So. Lots of fun there. When do you leave for Europe? On Sunday. I guess, oh my God, you have such a busy weekend. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I hope it's amazing. I'm sure it will be. For those who haven't heard Surprise Me yet, take a listen featuring Azealia Banks. It's such a good song. And the album, Butterfly Blue, is coming out 
13th of May, right? Yeah, yeah. So take a listen. Thank you again. Thank you. This has been a vibe. It's been a vibe. Yay. Oh my God. <laughs> We're so tough. Yeah.